on guys, this is Edward Redux, and sorry I just woke up, but I want to show you guys, like, how I even edit videos. Because it surely isn't through Wi-Fi, because, well, that just wouldn't work. I mean, it would, it would buffer, like, no matter what the speed of my connection is, which right now my link speed is 866 megabits. And this footage is only uh, 260 megabits, so probably up to 320 megabits. So that should be plenty, but for some reason it just doesn't work. It'll it'll stutter and play back, and you just have to give it a minute, and then it stutters again. It does this over Ethernet too, but um, I think that's due to some other weak link in my system. But uh, I wanted to show you my system. So how do I edit my footage? I have this brand new M4 Pro 16-inch MacBook Pro that I do all my editing on, because that thing, which is a 2023 M2 Mac Mini was just crumbling under all of the pressure. So I decided I had to stop using it and get something with more RAM. So this thing has 48 gigs of unified memory. <clears throat> it's also very efficient, but it can also get very hot if you like play Minecraft on it, which I didn't actually expect. You know, the fans will actually turn on, which I guess is a good thing. But yeah, this thing has apparently the fastest CPU cores uh, in the world right now on any CPU, which I don't know if I believe, but based on the speed of this, it is scary fast for how little power it draws comparative to other CPUs that I have tested. You know, that I've tested. <laughs> anyway, how do I get the footage from that box right there, which is where most of the footage lives, into this? Well, you might have guessed that I just, you know, plug a cable from that box to this computer. You mu you were assuming the best, but no, uh, I can't do that, uh, or I wouldn't do that, because I'd have to move that box or get a long enough cable and unplug it from that box right there, which that Mac Mini now shares uh, its boxes with the network and does other stuff with the network too, so I can't just unplug the hardware from it that it's running on. That'd be a very bad idea. So how do I get the footage to this? Well, because all those sharing features are on, I can just mount the drive through the network and, and edit off of that with, uh, you know, Resolve. But I've decided that Wi-Fi is just way too unreliable for that, which it, it is. So I decided to just use Ethernet. But, um, you may have noticed there's no Ethernet hole on this computer. So how are we going to add Ethernet? I have a couple of these, um, and they are Ethernet adapters. USB-C Ethernet adapters. Plug it it into the USB port here, Ugh. and after a bit it adds this as an Ethernet d adapter device, and this thing uses about 20, no, about 10 watts on its own, so yeah, it's, it's basically a big heatsink because of, because of that. So, as you can see, actually I probably don't need to show that, never mind, um, yeah, so we're connected through Ethernet, which then means if I disconnected Wi-Fi, everything would go about 10 times faster than it was before I turned it off. And that's because it would be going through this thing. And this thing gets incredibly hot because this is actually a 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter, which are quite hard to uh, come across nowadays, uh, you know, for USB-C. This is, I think, the smallest one available, and one of the cheapest available, because there's only like three or four of these things out there, at least when, when I got it. And this one we actually got used, and it was still about 200 bucks. And why is this so expensive? Well, it's because really only us professionals need this grade of equipment. Everyone else is fine with 1 or 2.5 gig Ethernet. Or if they need anything better, or if they're fine with, you know, having something worse, I'll just get freaking Wi-Fi. Because, you know, that's good enough for most purposes. It's just not good enough for, you know, low latency video editing. I'm sure the latency isn't what's causing the problems with it, but... Yeah, it's just not good enough for video editing, or in many cases, video viewing. I've had cases where I can't even stream 720p video uh, from my NAS, which is right there, QNAP NAS, or my, uh, whatever that is. Uh, I'm just gonna say the Mac Mini, because that's where it leads to. I haven't been able to stream 720p video from those two devices reliably in a very long time, so I decided, well, I, if I'm gonna do video streaming or uh, editing, I have to, I have to use Ethernet. Now, this still stutters. It still makes my footage um, stutter. It doesn't play smoothly the entire time. However, it is much better than doing it over Wi-Fi, because doing it over Wi-Fi is just gnarly. 
But doing it over this is near perfect. And uh, I'm a professional video editor now, so I kind of need this nonsense. And uh, whenever I need to take my uh, edits to a client to get, you know, their opinions and basically review it, well, I, I just take this along with me and I plug it into their 10 gigabit switch. That also requires that they have a 10 gigabit switch and that they're on the same network as I am, but luckily this is not the only room in this house. So other people live here and one of them is one of my clients. Also, for those who are wondering, that is a battery backup which is uh, not focusing right now. Yeah, that is a, a battery backup. It's actually called a UPS, an uninterruptible power supply. And what that does is, while it's plugged into the wall, you can plug things into it. Uh, as you leave it like that, it'll actually charge the UPS. There's a battery in that uh, long box right there that is probably fully charged by now. because It's been here for a couple weeks. And when the power goes out, which it can happen non-infrequently <laughs> in this geographical location. When the power goes out, I was more nuanced than that, but pretty much everything connected to that box will uh, be powered by just that box. You know, when the power goes out, which is a pretty neat thing to have, especially in this area. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you, you know, how my stuff gets from one place to another. Oh, I forgot something. So we now know that that box over there, the Mac Mini, is connected to this box. Um, not, not a box. This is a laptop. Sorry. <laughs> with uh, this box right here. But most Mac Minis only come with one gig Ethernet. So does that have something special? The answer is yes. That actually does have 10 gig Ethernet built into it. Because we configured it with that. It costs about 300 bucks. Or 200 I forget. How does the Ethernet get from there to there, though? Because, you know, it's not just a straight line. That Mac Mini has to connect to other things as well, so what's it connected to? Well, it's connected to two different switches. I'm not even kidding. Two different switches. And basically, the one underneath there, it used to do pretty much everything, but it didn't have enough ports on it, so I decided to stop using it almost completely. It's only used for one gigabit ethernet now. And the 10 gig is getting passed through, going looping down there and up to this NIC Giga switch. That is a very, very dangerous name to be talking about. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a decent switch. It's a 10 gig switch, which means, you know, the throughput is fantastic. It could be kind of called a no-name one, but, yeah, it works fine enough. And it even has a fan in it, because that thing gets pretty toasty, and that's why there's a spacer that's actually a speaker grill that's supposed to be on that speaker. That's why that's there, because, well, it was getting too hot and we were worried. And it's sitting on top of my home NAS, which is a QNAP NAS. And in the future, I plan to, um, you know, after my footage is edited and done on here, through the network, of course, compress my footage into AV1, which is a new enough codec, so it's more efficient than whatever I'm shooting on and whatever the output is from Resolve. I'm going to compress it through the network on that machine right there, the white one. Hopefully I'll be able to use AV1, and that's where the videos go, and you know, get transferred to and get edited on, and then later on get compressed that come from this Canon R5C camera. Thanks for watching.